Okay, so let's try this one. Um, this one's for you, Angel. It says, show the mechanism of the reaction between benzaldehyde and benzyl triphenyl phosphonium chloride um, with 10 molar sodium hydroxide and dichloromethane to produce cystilbene. Okay, so we just want to produce the cystilbene. And here's the conditions, of course, 10 molar sodium hydroxide and dichloromethane. So we're going to erase this portion and just show the mechanism, okay? So um, recall the phosphonium salt. This is the important part. We've got the two hydrogens there, okay? So those hydrogens are acidic. And when we add the hydroxide, of course, that's going to deprotonate one of those protons there. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to form, so this is just one of the resonance forms. We'll keep it like this for ease of showing the mechanism, the carbanion there. Okay, so we have that. We formed water also, so remember that's the uh, phosphonium illid that we're going to use to react. So I'm going to erase this portion. Is it okay if I erase this? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So we have this now. Let's move the benzaldehyde closer so we can see the reaction. It's like right there on the right there on the right the board. Okay. So remember, oxygen uh, or phosphorus is oxophilic. So, um, and also remember, the carbon ion is going to attack the carbonyl carbon like nobody's business. So we're going to have um, a concerted reaction here to form the cis uh, steel beam. So we're going to attack there and the electrons from the carbonyl double bond are going to attack the phosphorus there. Okay, so we have that, the oxophosphatine. And of course, this four membered ring is very um, unstable, so it's going to break down quite readily. So, what's going to happen is this bond is going to go there, this bond's going to go there, and then you're going to have to get all of the um, byproduct out. It's not the easiest thing. But anyways, you'll see that when you do the reaction today. And hopefully you can see, since it's a concerted reaction, we're going to get the cis If you um, recall what it says in the um, uh, procedure, it also says you're going to get some of the trans still beam, but uh, that comes from a different um, mechanistic uh, pathway. So this is the pathway to the cis still beam. So are there any questions on this one? Pretty, yeah. straight, pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. Okay, wonderful.